In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the Zoom Kaltura integration. What this is, is it will take all of your Zoom cloud recordings, and once they're generated, will automatically upload it into the Kaltura My Media repository on Moodle. This is going to make it very easy to take your recordings and share it with your students and courses on Moodle. The reason for this is we have limited cloud storage on Zoom. Any recording that is older than 30 days, it's going to be automatically removed on Zoom. With this integration, that solves that problem for you, because not only do you not have to do any work in regard to uploading it here into my media, you also have the ability to save those recordings. So if they are automatically removed, you do not lose that recording. Now I've come into my My Media page, and in case you don't know, I will show you how you can access this. I've logged into moodle.wagner.edu and chose My Media on the left-hand side. Now if you don't see My Media, your navigation menu may be collapsed, so you'll just want to expand it and click on My Media. This is going to be your repository for all of your videos that you can share with your students when you're ready. The Kaltura Basics training that's here now is not something that I manually uploaded. I recorded it on Zoom and once it generated, it automatically put this here for me now. You're going to be able to do the exact same thing and I just want to make sure that you know, depending on how long your recording is, it may take a little while to process up on my media. But as it processes, you can continue to work around it. You can leave the page. You don't have to worry about having to stay on the processing page. Once you click on the recording itself, it will tell you if it's ready or if it still is processing. The very first thing that I recommend you doing is making sure you go into these videos that you have recorded, pressing play, and just get a general idea of if everything that you want included into that video is there. Once you have guaranteed that your video is just the way you want it to be, you can go into your Zoom web portal and actually delete that recording from your repository, which I'm going to show you how you can do that later on in this video. Now, if you want to publish one of these videos to your Moodle page, you're going to go into the video that you want to publish, click on the little pen here, and then once the page loads, you're going to click on publish, and you're going to choose published once again. So you can choose your course here that you're associated with, and what's great about this is if you want to share this recording with more than one class, you can do that as well by checking off more than one box. Once you've checked off the box and press save, it will automatically put that video inside of that specific course's media gallery. Now you may run into an issue where you're teaching a course that has the same course name, but a different section number. If this is the case, what you would do is instead of publishing it here from the My Media space, you would go into the course itself. So I'm going to go into the course here. You're going to click on Media Gallery and then from the media gallery, you're going to choose add media and choose that video. All of the videos that are associated here are, it's basically just taking your My Media space, bringing it up here and allowing you to select the video you want. So if I wanted to put that Kaltura Basics training, I could check it off here and choose publish and that would then put that video right into my Moodle Media Gallery. Now you may ask, what if I have videos that were on here before the integration took place? So if you don't want to lose those videos, you can still add them to your My Media space, but it's going to be a little bit different and we're going to go over that right now. So you'll have to go to Zoom first and you're going to have to go into one of your recordings and download all of the files. So you're going to click on more and choose download and there'll be a certain amount of files that it gives you here. So I'm going to click on download four files for the Kaltura Basics training. Now in this case, I'm just using this as an example, but you would be doing this if there are any older recordings that you have stored into your Zoom that you want to put into Kaltura and you don't want to risk losing. So once it has downloaded all of those files for you, you're going to find the MP4 file and you want to upload that into your My Media space. So I'm going to go back to Moodle here and I'm going to click Add New Media Upload. 
you can drag and drop the file or you can choose a file to upload. Now my file here is not going to be ready yet. It's not going to be downloaded yet because it's over an hour long. But what I would do is drag and drop the MP4 into here or choose the file from wherever it's saved and then just save it and it'll be uploaded directly into my media space where I could then share it the exact same way I, I shared all the other ones. Now, the last thing that I want to show you is how you can go into your Zoom web portal and delete any of the recordings that you no longer need. So here I'm inside of my web portal, which I got to by going to wagner.zoom.us and I clicked on recordings on the left hand side. And then you can just simply click on the recording you want to delete. So you click more and then choose delete and that will remove the recording from your Zoom portal.